In DHCP, we have a special field available to us that helps us extend the capabilities of this automated configuration process. And inside of this, we can put many, many, many different configuration options inside of it. If you look at the DHCP RFC, you'll see a big list of all of these different DHCP options. If you look at Boot P, we call them vendor extensions, but it is effectively exactly the same thing. There are up to 254 usable options inside of it, and they're numbered 0 through 255. 0 is a one that is reserved as a pad, and 255 is reserved as the end option. So everything in the middle can be used as configuration options inside of DHCP. A number of the options inside of DHCP are things that we use every day. We need to automatically assign a subnet mask or a DNS server or the domain name inside of our particular workstation or computer that we happen to be using. And through the years, we've added additional DHCP options, some very common ones for voice over IP networks are option 129, which can configure automatically the workstation so that it knows the call server IP address or automatically configure your voice over IP phone with an option 135 that knows the HTTP proxy for those phone specific applications. There are options configured on the DHCP server itself. So that's where you would go to configure all of these different options out. Now, not all DHCP servers give you the ability to set DHCP options. If you're using one that's designed for the enterprise, then it probably does have that capability inside of it. But if you're using a simple home router or a small office router as your DHCP server, it may not have that DHCP option functionality inside of it. Here's the DHCP server that's in my Windows Server 2008 R2. I'm in my DHCP server that is on my server SG1. And I already have a scope configured here that has inside of it some server options. And I only have two server options currently configured. I have option number 6, which specifies where my DNS servers are. And I have option 15 that decides where my DNS domain name happens to be. And the domain name on my network is sgc.local. If I right mouse click and choose Configure options, you can assign any one of those options that we were talking about. You can see there is a very, very large list of options that are available. But you could scroll to the bottom, and you can see there's a lot of different ones available. You could specify IRC servers. You can specify POP3 servers. There are different applications that can take advantage of these particular configuration settings. And by simply assigning this inside of your DHCP scopes, you can now have those options automatically made available to whoever requests them from the DHCP server.